How's it going everyone? This is Dave from wetflyswing.com. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a very good pattern, the soft tackle hair's ear. And I'm going to start off with just some um, uh, ADOT uni thread. And I'm using a 1560 uh, size 12 uh, Daiichi. There's the hook. And uh, this pattern, uh, like some of the recent patterns, are, is coming to us from uh, John Girock, the great John Girock, who basically, uh, when I ask a lot of my guests um, the one question, what are the couple of flies that you love to fish with? This was the one that he uh, mentioned. And I'm gonna start off just with the, the rib here is gonna be a little bit of a couple strands of um, crystal flash. I'm just gonna cut that off here, tie that in the back. And the, um, you think of the hair's ear, because that's the color we're gonna be using here, the gold ribbed hair's ear is kind of a, a common um, style, but this is gonna be ribbed with flash. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this uh, wax, dubbing wax here. And, and then I'm gonna have some hair's ear. I've just got a little bit of natural hair's ear. And when you dub this, the easy way to probably do this is to start off smaller and thinner as you go. So don't put a big pile of this on to start with thin and then you can add as you need. But yeah, Gear Rock, it was pretty sweet because this guy, um, which is like kind of rock star, right? Um, I got him on the show and we got into a bunch of stuff, not only, not only fly fishing, but we talked about some funny stuff like the, uh, his experience with the 1960s kind of got into some, you know, talking about his drug and alcohol and actually asked him that question, um, you know, what he thought the impacts were from basically using drugs and alcohol during the 60s like a lot of people did. And it was pretty funny to hear his, his response um, or just to that question. So, yeah, if you want a pretty interesting... Um, episode to check out now I'm drawing a blank too I want to say it's um, on the episode number if you just go to wetflyswing.com uh, slash show you'll see all the episodes I believe it's I want to say like 40 47 or 48 I could probably check that really quick I will uh, just give me a second so I'm just wrapping this it kinda, what I'm gonna do when I wrap this is kind of build it up as you go towards the front and then we're gonna build right in the front. I'm gonna put a little bit of a, a different color. I'm gonna build it up right here and leave plenty of room here for your hackle on the front. Um, but I'm gonna grab a little bit of just some dubbing. I'll grab a little bit of darker stuff right here just for the front. And I like to do a little bit of, a little bit darker and then a little bit of guard hairs in it if you can, just to build that up right. Right there, and then I'll wrap back like that. And then I'm just going to wrap with this. It just gives it kind of a nice little, little different look. And then to finish this off, I'll just get the uh, the soft tackle, which on this one I'm going to use partridge. And uh, yeah, but um, yeah, it was just a fun episode. I'm having a lot of fun with the um, with the podcast, and you know, I'm getting a, a little bonus here. I can bring some of these patterns because this is basically John's. This is his go-to pattern. You know, this was his one. Um, the other one, I think, was a dry fly. But on this, I'm going to clip in from the front and wrap from the front. You can also clip it off and wrap from the back, but depending on your hackle. Um, on this one, the only challenge here is that when you do it, you gotta be very gentle, especially with this partridge because it'll break on you. Wrap in front here once. And what I like to do is when I'm doing this, I'll clip off this just to get that hairy stuff out of the way. And you can also just strip, if you want to really sparse, you can strip off half of it. I, I like to just tend to use the whole thing and maybe just do fewer wraps. So I'm just gonna wrap this very gently around. There's kind of one, and then I'm gonna wrap the next one right in front. 
It might even be like one and a half because it's not even that long. So about right there. And I'll have another pattern here eventually, which is more of a Euro style and talk about a couple tips there. Devin Olson, who is on, has some good videos and stuff as well. But, um, but yeah, this is a um, nice little pattern in the soft tackle variety. I'm gonna clip off the rest of this here. And then once you get that, you can kind of pull it back. Use your fingers like this. Use your fingers like this to pull it back. As you can see, I've been working out in the uh, the garden today, and uh, that's part of the deal. That's pretty thick um, when you look at the hackle, so you can definitely go thinner if you want. And if you wanted to, a real easy way would be just to strip off a few of those extra ones right off the, the top. And you can always just kind of clip around. But a lot of these flies too, you notice with your flies, you start with something that looks a little thick on the vise, and then after a fish bites it a few times, it loses a few of the uh, of the hackle fibers and things like that. So I don't mind making it a little thicker up front. You see that little nice little um, nice little soft tack, and I'll just kind of finish this up right here. As you can see, you can make that longer. I mean, this is kind of a longer shanked body. Um, but right there is, I guess that's a variation on the uh, variation on the soft tackle hair there. And uh, yeah, because it's got that little flash. But that's a cool little pattern. See it around. It's gonna sit in the water just like that. And uh, so yeah. Again, this is Dave from Wet Fly Swing. If you go to wetflyswing.com slash show, you can check out the recent episodes. But if you get a chance, please uh, uh, click the subscribe button. If you like this, you want to see more of these types of patterns. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.